Hi everyone. In this video, I'll be reading I Told You to Stay Away. Um, I'm recording this on my new phone, so hopefully everything works and I don't mess up anything. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, this is a crossover of Milo Murphy's Law and Phineas and Ferb. The only way I could fit both of these on while still using the transfer of the original was to put it this way. So that's why the image is... Um, up and down instead of side to side like I usually have them. But anyway, that's a side note. I'm getting distracted. Let's get on with the story. So, um, this is based on my theory um, that connects Dakota from Milo Murphy's Law and Carl from Phineas and Ferb. So, let's get on with the story. I Told You to Stay Away is the title. <laughs> In OWCA, Dakota has just walked in. Monty, casually, um... Oh, hey, Carl. Before I forget, uh, my dad wants to talk to you in his office, says Monty. Dakota turns around to explain. Because Monty thought that Dakota was Carl because he had his back facing Monty. Is kind of what I was trying to, uh... Uh... I don't know what the right word is, but I think you know what I'm saying, right? Anyway, um, Dakota turns around to explain. <clears throat> Dakota says, I don't know who this Carl is, but my name's Dakota. He offers his hand. Uh, Dakota offers his hand. Uh, and what's yours? Monty happily says, I'm Monty. I have to say, and I must say, how much you look like my friend Carl. It's wild. <sighs> I'm sorry, but do you have any kids? Says Monty, because my friend could very well be your kid. <laughs> Dakota informs, well, last I heard, I don't have any kids. <laughs> Three hours later, Monty says, Carl, how do you not see it? It looks like, it looks just like you, but older. Are you sure you're not related? Says Monty. Wait, you think just because we look alike we're related, says Carl? Monty explains, Yes, he could be your dad. How do you not see it? Says Monty. Carl, in disbelief, That's impossible. <laughs> Mom told me dad left when I was two, says Carl. That's supposed to be a uh, capital. I guess I don't need the light on the keyboard. Where the, where the heck is that button? Oh, is okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Dakota walks by a few seconds later. Wait, Dakota, come here, says Monty. Dakota does as instructed. Carl, do you see it now? Says Monty. Dakota or Carl looks at Dakota for a minute. Oh, now I see it. Hey, Dakota, can I take a picture with you, says Carl, or ask Carl. Dakota says, sure. Carl takes a photo of them together on his phone. Carl wonders, do you mind if I show this to my mom? Maybe she'll know why we look so much alike, says Carl. Dakota has a realization hits. Wait, what's your mom's name? Carl answers, Carla, why? Uh, I don't think we're ever introduced to Carl's parents. Um, in the show, so maybe season five and six we'll get that, but I doubt it since he's not a main character. So I decided I get to create who his, decide who Carl's parents would be and what their names would be. So I do strongly think that Dakota and Carl could be related, but whatever. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Let's get back to the story. Carl answers, Carla, why? Dakota, nervously. Would you excuse me for a minute? Uh, Dakota runs off. Dakota is now alone. Dakota is freaking out. No, this can't be. I'm in big trouble. Uh, Dakota grabs a pillow and uses it to muffle his screams. <laughs> Dakota takes a deep breath. Okay, you know what? It could be a different Carla altogether. Please be a different Carla. Please. 
thanks Dakota, hoping Dakota, or no, silently, or quietly, that's what I meant to say, uh, quietly wishing, please be a different Carla, and hoping, hoping, please, just then, he gets a text from Perry. Side note, Perry was given a special phone in one of my previous fanfics from Heinz, which allows him to communicate with those who know about his secret identity. Side note, it's called the PTI, which stands for Platypus Translator in Nator. Back to the story now. So that's what he's using to contact Dakota. Dakota's heart's racing as he grabs his phone, unsure who has texted him. Perry reveals, I heard, and don't worry, I'll keep your secret. Um, also, you're gonna have to allow Carl to show his mom that photo. If you don't, it's gonna make you look more sus than you already are. Dakota realizes. You make a great point. You make a good point, um, Perry. And I appreciate you for keeping my secret. Perry texts, no problem. Minutes later, Dakota has given Carl permission to show the photo to his mom. The photo of them to his mom. Now Carl is at home. Carl excitedly says, Mom, you have to, I have to show you this pic. It's the, the new guy at Olka looks so much like me. It's crazy. Shows the selfie to his mom. See? Crazy, right? Carla then grabs her son's phone. Carla shocked wide-eyed. <clears throat> we agreed he'd stay away from you. I'm I'm coming to you with a, to Olka tomorrow. Carl quickly says, No, you can't. It's a secret organization that I wasn't supposed to tell you about. Then don't act like you know me. <sighs> Fine, says Carl. <clears throat> The next day at Olka, Carl and Carla have just walked into, um, walked into the building. Building. Carla taps Dakota on the shoulder. Dakota, I need to talk to you. Dakota nervous does a ner nervously gulps. Hey, Carla. I know what this is about, and don't worry, I plan on quitting. Honestly, I had no idea Carl worked here till yesterday. Says Dakota. <clears throat> Carl, having heard, Carlo, don't make my friend quit, please. He's like a fa the father I never had. Says Car Carl. Dakota admits, it's okay, there was an agreement made a long time ago, so if I continue to work here, I'd be breaking the agreement, and I was supposed to stay away from you, if I wasn't willing to be there for, I guess I didn't fill that in, the hard stuff, I didn't deserve to be there for the good parts, uh, which is, that's Dakota quoting a line that Carla said when um, when Carl was really, really young. Carl confused. What's going on? Carla confesses. The truth is, your dad didn't leave. I kicked him out. And Dakota, you don't have to quit. It's clear that you've changed for the better. Says Carla. <clears throat> Dakota, you can stay here with your son, says Carla. Wait, Dakota's my father, says Carla. Carl. Dakota reveals, Yes. Carla admits, my re I realize my reasoning for kicking you out before is stupid now. I should have given you a second chance, and I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Says Carla. You're forgiven. Everyone's happy there's no more secrets between them. The end of, I told you to stay away. I hope you enjoyed this story. Uh, what inspired the story? I didn't really fill it out. Um, whoops. Thanks for watching and make sure to like, subscribe, and I hope you have a fantastic day. So, thanks for watching. Again, out of curiosity, 
What age does it say? Your text is simple and easy enough to likely to be understood by someone with at least a sixth grade education, age 11. I was just curious. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to uh, like and subscribe. I already said that. Alright, thank you for watching.